Hi friends, it's Andrei Vasilenko. Dio is back, kind of. Only his voice and the shape of his body projected on a piece of glass. Some of the fans were fascinated to see him again, and others came to hate, as they call it, a fake that's milking Dio's memory. This is a case when both sides have strong arguments. Everybody loves and misses Ronnie. And the fans already started suggesting who might be resurrected this way next. So, here's the question. Where is the edge between ethics, technology and business? Is it appropriate to bring our idols back as 3D figures, singing not breathing and raising up horns not seeing yours? But before that, let's find out what is a hologram. Hologram is a photographic recording of a subject displayed in three dimensions. This technology has been in progress since 1940s. It means that uh, a real hologram still does not exist. Because there's no laser to create hovering figures like from sci-fi movies. Everything you've seen actually was a gimmick with some visual perception of depth. This illusion is called Pepper's Ghost, which was popularized in 19th century as a theatrical trick. It's being staged this way. A very lightened object is reflecting on the glass placed above at an angle 45. So from a viewer's position, it looks like a ghost flying in the air. Basically, this is how Fata Morgana a natural hologram works when an object such as an oasis or a ship or even a whole city is visible from a big distance due to light refraction in the atmosphere. And this mirage technique was used to stage performances of gorillas and later deceased stars such as Tupac, Michael Jackson and Ronnie James Dio. The majority of Dio's fans cannot accept it. They say it's disrespectful and we should let him rest in peace. And I can agree with them. In this form, following this promotion, the idea of bringing back our hero looks cheaper than it could have been. But maybe if we slightly change our perspective all turns out not that bad. What if to look at this as a rough attempt to expand our vision on where human life goes? We are constantly observing the progress of cinematic technology. First we added sound, then colors, then the sound became voluminous and now the picture follows that way to be really three-dimensional, looking naturally and being safe. Even if the first tries were not that successful, it's not a reason to bury this technology. Or rather, not technology, but the idea. Remember that we have not invented true holograms yet. An old picture brings up memories and emotions. And for us, it's something bigger than just a piece of paper with a thin layer of paint. Actually, a photograph is an advanced version of a painting, just with better mechanical, not human, strokes. So why not to consider holograms as ultra-progressive pictures? Just imagine how far this could go. For example, classic rock shows converted into holograms, similar to how old movies now become 3D. In this form, it might look more acceptable. Not every one of us had chance to see Cliff or Freddy or Dimebag. Anyway, these were just my thoughts. I personally feel the potential of this idea. Green technologies, space exploration and now holograms. Why resisting it? Even if not everything's going smooth at the very beginning. We learn on our mistakes. This is how we grow. This is how our life improves. I hope you took it easy. Express your point in comments. Subscribe if you're a fan of metal. And please support me on Patreon if you like what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. It's Andriy Vasilenko. Be in metal.